Hello and welcome back to the Kitagawa Europe Focus Channel. My name is Hamish Walker. Joining me today as always is Sophia. Hi. Now Sophia, what vices do you have? Vices? Well, this is taking an unexpected turn. Um, chocolate, couple of chocolate no, 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 no. Sorry, I meant what vices do you have in your machine shop? Oh, I see. Vices, right, yes. Okay, I'm, okay. So we've got a few standard vices, but we're thinking of changing to a hydronic vice to get a better gripping force on our work pieces. I'm glad you said that. Kitagawa have a range of mechanical power vices that means you don't need a hydraulic input to achieve our high clamping torque. Okay, great. Well, can we see some? Sure. Uh, so here we have uh, the basic range of vices called the VQX series. Superb. It looks like a great vice, but I've seen ones like this before. So what makes this one special? So the VQX series is available in four different jaw widths. Uh, the 100 millimeter, uh, the 125 that we're demonstrating here, uh, the 160, and the 200 millimeter. So the VQX 125 uh, achieves a maximum clamping force of 40 kilonewtons. Uh, the VQX 200, which is the largest in the series, achieves 70 kilonewtons. Hang on, Hamish. These are some super high gripping forces. Um, but how can they be achieved by me actually manually turning the handle? Very easily actually by using a toggle joint mechanism, pushing back on a series of cone springs amplifies the force by manually turning the drive spindle. But Hamish, what happens if I have a small or weak work piece and I don't want to crush it with the amplified force? Don't worry, as always we've thought of this, you can adjust the maximum uh, clamping force by changing the setting on the front of the drive spindle. Great, can you show me? Okay, the vice is currently set to position three, which means I get a 40 kilonewtons of maximum clamping force. If I move it to position two, then it would be 28 kilonewtons of maximum clamping force. Then position one will be 16 kilonewtons. And finally, position zero is only eight newtons of clamping force. Nicely explained, Hamish. Sounds very easy. Thanks, Sophia. And this uh, mechanism is available on all of our vice series, which are many and varied. So now I'm going to show you the VE series, which is a low profile version. Mm -hmm. We also have the VELN series. Uh, which has an increased uh, jaw stroke. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have the VELWN, which has a really impressive 405 millimeter jaw stroke. Wow, okay, with this piece, I'll never have to buy another vice again. But aren't I gonna start seeing some massive squareness and parallelism issues? Not at all. Uh, Kitagawa Japan uh, manufacture these under their own accuracy specifications which is more than double uh, than the standard set by the Japanese uh, Machine Accessory uh, Association. Okay, great stuff. Um, so what does this mean in this actual vice? So if we put this workpiece in the vice, grip it and take a micrometer, uh, the parallelism of the upper face will be 50 microns for 100 millimeters of distance and a jaw lift will also be less than 15 microns. This is unbelievable the dynamic accuracy. And how can, with a vice this long, this power, keep the jaw lifts in there? Well, simply put, with the vice being manufactured under much tighter tolerances, and with the movable jaw using jaw lift prevention mechanism, which ensures the vice is pushing the workpiece along and down when gripping. Great, and let me guess that this applies to all the vices we see here. It certainly does. And we have many other vice configurations available, uh, such as the VC series, the four vertical integrated vice, the MV125, and the MH125N for long work pieces or machining of multiple work pieces. The Kitagawa manual vice options are extremely versatile. With their unmatched static and dynamic accuracies, K 
capable of high camping courses, which are extremely variable. And Kitagawa Power Vices have some of the lowest profiles and longest dual strokes on the market. Please visit the Kitagawa Europe website Link below. for latest information on Kitagawa Power Vices. Thanks so much for watching the Kitagawa Europe Focus Channel and we'll see you again next time.